So we've got a Cold War era style espionage thriller action movie, but set in present day. <laughs> So Without Remorse was released on Amazon Prime last week, starring Michael B. Jordan, Jodie Turner-Smith, Jamie Bell, and Guy Pearce. Directed by Stefano Salima. Now, this is the, I think, sixth Tom Clancy film adaptation. It follows a character who's probably a little bit less unknown. You know, the one that most people are familiar with is Jack Ryan. And, you know, he had a TV show with John Krasinski. He had his own movie with Chris Pine. He's had films in the 90s starring Harrison Ford, you know, in Clear and Present Danger, Patriot Games. Unbelievable movies. And the best one, the still the number one, is The Hunt for Red October starring Alec Baldwin and Sean Connery. That's not even, just forget about an espionage thriller, that's like the best submarine movie to ever exist as well. That movie is fucking amazing. I'm getting a little bit off track here, I'm talking about all the old movies instead of the new one. <laughs> okay, so we start off, we're in Syria, and Michael B. Jordan's character, John Kelly, he's like a, he's not the boss of the team, but he's like the best, essentially. Like he's the elite, elite Navy SEAL as part of this like elite group. Like everyone knows, He's the fucking man. And we all know Michael B. Jordan's a man. Like, we all fucking love this dude. Like, his career is on the biggest fucking incline ever. Like, you could not find a person in the world who dislikes Michael B. Jordan. We all love him. He's fantastic. So they get dropped in to this place in Syria. They're told, hey, you gotta go rescue a hostage from, you know, armed militants and whatnot. They get in there, they find the hostage, but they find that the people who are holding him there were Russians, right? The SEAL team wipe out a bunch of the Russians. They blow up the building. Michael B. Jordan's character, John Kelly, gets pissed off. Gets pissed off because he's not told the whole story. So he's annoyed. He's like, fuck, you didn't tell us the whole thing. Like, you didn't tell us what the real mission was, you fucking dogs. Three months pass. Us, we find out what all the SEALs are doing now back home, you know. Michael B. Jordan's at like a party with his wife, you know, they're off with their neighbours and shit. He's talking to like the priest, the local priest, and they're all talking about, hey, you know, your wife's pregnant, like how excited are you to be a dad, blah, blah, blah. Like all real, real good family sort of stuff where you know something's going to go wrong. <laughs> and then one of the other SEALs, he's thrown out the trash in his street and then boom, a van just runs him over, like out of nowhere. And I was not expecting it at all. I was thinking like something else was going to happen, but it was so visceral. Like this dude just gets hit by a fucking van and like he tumbles under the tires and it was it's very well done very well done another one of the characters who surprisingly i thought was going to have a way bigger role but gets killed off straight away if you've ever seen never back down the kid who plays the bad guy in that movie he's the second seal to just get killed within a couple of minutes i was like oh cool i was like this dude has a little bit of quote unquote star power like he's been in some movies and they just kill him off within like a couple of minutes. I was like, whoa, all right. I was like, okay, without remorse. I see you. I see what you're doing. I got you. So then we get to MBJ's house. We get to John Kelly's house, right? The lights are all off. Him and his wife have come home from, from their party. She's pregnant, so she wants to go to sleep. She's like, hey, don't spend too long downstairs listening to music. Anyway, so all the lights get cut out, but he doesn't notice because he's got his he's got his big headset on because the power is cut, that the power to his laptop dies, that he realizes that something's gone wrong. Like there's been a power outage and he can hear people like this dude's a this dude's a fucking elite like elite level na navy seal takes his headset off he's got fucking little like he's, he's nice and quiet on his feet whips out a little gun from somewhere takes out a bunch of dudes but also gets shot in the process and is unable to save his wife he crawls in he's been shot he did get a look at one of the dudes who attacked his house he took his mask off and the guy tried to shoot john kelly but he'd run out of bullets so he was like fuck i better jet out of here so he runs off kelly crawls 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 gets to the bed finds that his wife has also been killed so now we've got we've got our revenge tale you know it's pretty good like it's it's not the greatest thing i've ever seen to be honest there is a lot of sort of really contrived real just not make sensey type things i kind of give that a pass if the film itself is really really fun like if you can tell that it's all a bit of a piss take this one is still a little bit serious and it tries to tries to pull the wool over your eyes you know, at the end and give you this sort of big twist ending. But you kind of already can sense what's going to happen. The action itself is really pretty good. It's very violent, really, really brutal. I think Michael B. Jordan does a lot of the stunts in this. Like, he has become... I would say he's pretty much an action star now. Like, I would fucking love to see him in more types of movies like this. Now, there are some things that could have been better. I think the bait and switch, or maybe like the red herring, you would call it, of who is the actual villain in this movie 
It's very obvious and it's very tropey, but that's the thing, is there's only so much you can do with an espionage revenge type movie like this. There's not a lot of tricks left anymore after, you know, Bourne and all these movies. And even the other Tom Clancy movies, they had way better twists. Maybe this one was just a shot in the dark and they were hoping, hey, let's try and get out of the Jack Ryan box and maybe try and get in the John Kelly box. Let's try that. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. I still had a really good time. It's a little bit above average. It could have been better. I think some of the some of the writing choices, maybe some of the plot choices could have been different. All right guys, so six out of 10. If you like MBJ, if you've watched this movie, if you enjoy it, comment down below, let me know how it goes. Uh, yeah, and as always guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one and uh, just be good, it's not hard.